YouTube, welcome back, and we like to jump right into it. Okay, so <clears throat> I haven't made much AD lately because I've been upgrading my gear and helping a few new guilds out in the stronghold and whatnot. They're in the alliance now, so I'm letting the helping hand as best as I can. I got one of my friends messaging me right now, ain't no biggie. But basically, uh, what, I'm not sure, I'm just basically saying that because there might be pauses in this. So let me deposit 9,589. <clears throat> and we're trying to find a happy median for basically doing the lockboxes. For today, as fill our content right now, we're just going to do some mount packs and basically just do this while I try and farm some more AD to do some different form of openings because right now I'm kind of not in the position to do any form of different types of openings currently. You know what? I'm going for the normal amount. <clears throat> Sorry guys, allergies are really kicking in and whatnot. So let me see here, mount packs, set it to rare. Okay. So let me see here. We'll get some mount packs, basically open a bunch of jungle cat. You know what? <clears throat> Let's add another 250k. It's a bad move, but then again, I'm feeling a bit more risky. So we're going to open up 1,500,000 of this and basically see what we get. This will be a test if the jungle cap mount packs are still worth it. Unfortunately, my phone is dead currently. But uh, I also found a way to get lots of insignia dust and all that stuff. As I showed you guys before, I farmed up a lot of it. Bought a few auctions to help myself out. Basically, what I'm suggesting is going over to your stronghold, farm different enemies. Preferably, I'd suggest farming the events. Because I just got a few from the uh, spider event over here in the left. Uh, let me see if I can mark it real quickly. I got one from the spider event over there. Where is it at? There it is. And basically that was pretty decent. And I got a lot from doing dungeon runs such as Dread Legion because the enemies are compact and they have a chance to drop it. Another suggestion I can make for those also is the dungeons in Dread Ring, you know, the ones you go for the enchanting stones. Open up the uh, skill packs or whatever, you know, the things you would require the skills to open, like thievery and dungeoneering and things like that. And you will get a lot of insignias that way because they have a high chance to drop them. Let me make sure I'm not carrying anything that would get mixed up here. Let me deposit some stuff real quickly. <clears throat> Sorting all that out. See here, nothing that's going to get mixed up here. I was running a good chunk of dungeons and invoking. Got my other character finally high level, so he's able to use his 200 plus reroll tokens. So as always, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe. Without any further ado, here we go. Okay, not bad, not bad. Not bad. <clears throat> Nice. Okay, how about some mounts? Besides the panther, of course. Something else. Preferably an epic. Well, I got an epic. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Nice, okay. Nice. Leopard Chult, nice. Okay, so usually all I do is convert the um, epic ones, but let me see here. I might try and sell some of the more lower tier ones too. Okay, so my calculator on my phone and whatnot, I have a new phone, the battery is kind of faulty, so let me store those for my other character because I'm saving these for 
my next max level that goes to Barovia. Barovia is actually one of my top favorite zones in this game by far. Just as a little coverage on that. It's a good zone, well rounded, well balanced. Okay. So, seven Barbarian Singing Dominance Legendary. Once we convert them, of course. <coughs> Singing of Dom. Legendary. Okay. So, uh, usually they go for 419k, so I'll probably do that. Do I have a calculator in my drawer still? Let me check. Oh, my phone's at 49%. That'll actually work. Forgot how quickly this battery actually charges. Okay, so 419 times. I only have enough to do three, but I'll go farming and probably get a bunch more. So times seven. That is 2,933,000. Now, say I were to take a few more epics basically break these down okay so gives 50 each what a legendary is going for 174k hmm you know I'm not sure what would be worth more to break down okay so if I were to break down something like this uh, I think it's 250 each last I checked so not really sure. Okay, these give uh, 50 each. 50, 150, 250, 300. Okay, so if I were to, let's clear this off real quickly. 33,000 plus 33,000 plus 34,000 plus 34,000 plus 34,000 that's 168k for 250. How much does it cost for a legendary? Okay, so that'd be 174k right there. So yeah, it's cheaper just to do the epics. Up until a specified point. But yeah, basically once I do that, if I... Okay, so I only have enough to do three. So times that by okay so times that by four that's 672k let me check my history 2933 minus 672 that's 2 million 261 thousand guys so yeah I'd say mount packs are still worth it give or take on how you do it and how you go about it but yeah, guys, that about sums it up. So as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, stay awesome, guys. And I also is not including Leopard Chult, which I should probably check that. One hundred ninety k. So that's over three hundred k right there. Before subtracting that. But yeah, guys, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, stay awesome, guys. And until next time, see ya.